It has been so hot and dry this summer that brush fires are now a really big problem in parts of the Hudson Valley. Yeah, crews working to get control of the flames spreading across a popular state park since the weekend. The governor now calling in the National Guard to lend a hand. Arthur Chan's been following the developments tonight. He's in the newsroom with the latest. Arthur. Steve, Teresa, they have already arrived, and that is the bottom line here. We've had a hot July and August with very little rain, despite what Nick just showed us. The drought conditions have made for a fire danger that's much like a match waiting to be lit. And this weekend, some lightning strikes did just that tonight. At this point, it has spread to at least 150 acres. And as we speak, our understanding is only about 15% of it is contained. The fire is not contained yet. Tonight, as air crews dump buckets of water onto brush fires in Ulster County, all 22,000 plus acres of Minnewaska State Park and Sam's Point Preserve are closed at least through Labor Day weekend and until further notice as crews battle wildfires in several locations. Our main priority is one fire by safety. That's always our first priority. Our second priority is to ensure that we keep the fire out of Officials in Ulster County updating residents tonight, saying the flames have spread to at least 150 acres on multiple fronts. New York Governor Kathy Hochul dispatching Black Hawk helicopters from the National Guard and other units to battle the wildfires, in addition to agencies already on the ground there. The fact is, right now, we're bone dry, and with that, it increases fire danger. Dr. David Robinson is a climatologist at Rutgers University. He says for two months now, we've only gotten half the rain we need, and that's in addition to record high temperatures further drying surfaces out. And while the brush fires have not come close to populated areas yet, they could. In the meantime, he says, we as individuals can and should do our part. Take some personal responsibility for your water usage, and, and that's going to help matters. Don't have campfires, watch your grills outside, run a full dishwasher, run a full load of laundry. Um, start taking those conservation efforts um, in your home and outside of your home. Even if it does rain at this point, it would be somewhat helpful. But as Nick pointed out, thunderstorms tend to be sporadic and localized, like what we are seeing tonight. And climatologists say what we really need is a sustained soaking, much like a nor'easter. And as we saw in the forecast, it's just not in the works right now.